Welcome everyone. So I just want to walk through a little bit of a simple implementation for uh, MVVM. And on the screen, I've got a nice little MVVM uh, tip calculator. So you go ahead and you enter in the amount of your uh, your bill when you're at a restaurant. So say it's $25. You go ahead and you select, okay, well, I want to do a 10% tip and then you hit submit you can see all right well the tip is 25 uh two dollars and five uh, fifty cents and then the total is 27 uh 50. and if we go in and we dive into the code here you can see i've got in my main activity a list of all of the tips because i'm generating them dynamically there's a reason for this and you'll see it in a moment uh, and then I scroll down here, I'm using view binding and I'm going through each of the tips and I'm generating a material button by code, setting up the tip percentage so that it looks nice right here. Kind of like, you know, see 10%, 15%, etc. And setting the ID on it and the text and according to what it is, uh, whatever it is. Uh, then we're just adding them to the, uh, in this case, it's a material toggle button, which allows me to make a selection from here, here, and etc. So then we've got the on submit listener. So whenever a, the person, uh, the user clicks the on submit button, we grab the data from our edit text. And then we also grab the button ID that we're going to be using. Uh, then we perform a calculation and if we go down here to the calculation, we look up the tip because we don't quite know what the tip is and we want to know what we're uh, pulling, whatever the user has selected and we hit the uh, calculate the tip amount. So the amount times the tip and then we calculate the total, which is the amount plus whatever the tip amount is. And then we're going to return a pair. Why? Because, well, we can and it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> I like Kotlin. Um, okay, so then in here, when we've got the calculated amount, we do a ni nice little formatting at here and here, and we set the amount, and that's what you see right here. All right, so what's going on here? Why is this uh, bad? Why do we want to kind of use MVVM? Well, the main reason that we are going to want to use it is the uh, by pulling out our business logic into a view model, we're able to unit test it much better. So what is business logic in here? What would we consider business logic? So let's kind of walk through. Um, okay, nothing here is and setting up the view like this isn't because it's all view stuff. So it has to sit in the view. If you remember, our view is uh, what is being shown to our user. So we scroll down here, we go to the on, set on click listener, and you can see we're actually pulling information here. So that's kind of where we're going to begin looking at the business logic. So then we've got the tip ID. Okay, well, that's really not, and we're performing a little check here to make sure that we actually are pulling an ID that is correct. Uh, then we have the calculated amount and that's in a function. If we go and we look at this function, it's all basically very much just nothing but math. So that would be what we would consider business logic. There's nothing but math in there. So that's something that we can test and we can work with and we can play with. If we go up here, we see that we do some formatting. Well, uh, you know, Formatting also it could be is all can also be considered business logic on some occasions. So maybe we want to pull that information into uh, our view model as well. Okay, and then we go down here. Yeah, same thing. And we're setting this so this isn't that. All right. So now what we want to do is now that we've identified our business logic in this case, uh, this code right here and this code right here, we want to create our view model and we want to build that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right over here, right click new Kotlin, and we're going to say main view model. The reason why I say it's main view model is because it's attached to the main activity. So kind of easier that way, main view model. 
Then we're gonna extend the view model class, which is Android, uh, Android's view model from their lifecycle. And then I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna cut this part. I wanna make it public because I'm gonna use it. Voila. You can see there's an error here with the tips because it's private in the main activity. So if I go to main activity, you see the companion object, private val tips. Well, I'm just gonna grab these and put it right in there. Delete this. And there we go. Everything should be working, well, working nicely at this point, compiling really. So we scroll down. Oh, wait, look, here's an error here because we don't have the tips. So what we want to do is we'll go back here and we'll remove the private off of the vow. Now, the reason I'm maintaining this list in the view model is maybe it's going to be something generated by uh, an API call. So we're going to reach out to an API and we're going to ask the API, hey, how, uh, what, what are the tip percentages that we want to show the user? So maybe that's what we're going to do. And all API calls will end up being uh, handled on our main view model. So we'll go here, go main view model dot tips. All right. So now what we need to do is we actually need to get an instance of the uh, activity or uh, the view model. And if we go over to our view model overview on Android Studio, you can find this by just doing, uh, uh, let's see, we, by go uh, Googling Android, um, Android view model and you'll get this popping up. And you'll see implementing view model. If we scroll down, they're sitting here saying, all right, well, we wanna get the view model by the delegation method. So let's go back to Android Studio and we're going to go um, val main view model is a main view model by view models. Okay, so now this is working for me, but if I were to go and just sync, it's not going to work. Yeah, see, there's an error here because what we need is to you, they'll even say right here from activity AT, a KTX file, which if you do a Google search for Android activity KTX, you're going to get pull up this page right here and it's going to tell you this is the Gradle line that we want. This is Android X, Android, Android KTX, Android version. So we'll go over here and we'll go this. And then what we're going to do is it's going to be, let's see what version, 1.1.0, 1.1.0. We'll sync. All right. So we go back to our main activity. Everything should be working nicely. We're getting our main view model by the view models method <laughs> here. We'll scroll down and we're going to do main view model. Now, the other thing that we said that we could do is this is uh, what we would call our, what we would also call um, business logic. So then what we would do is grab this guy or we'll just basically grab this format part. We'll go to main view model and we're gonna go val tip uh, amount string equals this dot format. We're going to pass in the tip amount. So what this does is it formats a decimal to two decimal places and makes it a string. So that's really nice. We're going to go string, string, oops. And we'll do the same thing with val total amount string equals there, there, percent point two F dot four mat total. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the string here, total amount string. If we go to main activity, then what we just need to do is we can delete these two lines right here. And we can do 
calculated amount dot. Uh, oops, I am incorrect. It would be first. We would do calculated amount dot second. All right, cool. Nice and clean. Everything's in there. Uh, so what you may be seeing and what you're looking at right now is mainly this is the view. And then we've got the view model. What would be the model here? What would be going on? Well, the pair would be our model. This is the data that we're sending uh, back to from the view model to the uh, view. All right. So let's go ahead and run this. Terminate. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and enter into amount. We'll go like $25 and then 20 and then we'll close this out. We'll do that. All right. So yeah, 27% uh, percent of 25 is going to be $5. Adding that together, that's going to be $30. All right. So do this again. 375. Yeah, makes sense. 10% uh, should be $2, which would be two or 250. <laughs> uh, and then do that. So there you go. That is um, a way to convert an app from normal, just everything in the uh, activity to just your to into your view model and kind of just a little simple uh, setup for MVVM. All the code here is on GitHub. You can find the link in the description for this video. If you enjoy this uh, kind of stuff, uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button and to be notified whenever I post anything else. Um, if you this helped you out, please hit the like button and share it with somebody who you think is going to help out. Otherwise, uh, I will see you in the next video.